Hey guys, it's Edward Rick and welcome back to another video. Welcome to a movie review. Very different, haven't done on this channel before, blowing my mind. This will probably be a horrible video, you know, badly edited and stuff. But uh, it is, you know, my, my first ever time doing this. So, um, today I watched Free Guy on 4K. There's the steelbook. I really love the steelbook. And uh, it's not the steelbook, it's not just the steelbook that I like. It's actually the movie. I really enjoyed myself with this movie, but I can see why a lot of people didn't like it. It wasn't flawless, but it was pretty good. The story as well was pretty good. I do admit that I didn't really like the ending. Um, it could have been better. It was, it was kind of dumb. I will talk about that in greater depth later on in the video. It is like spoiler talk, but for now, let's just talk about what this movie did well. So, um... This is pretty much like pros and cons square with free, so um, this movie looked amazing, like the cinematography and just the style of it, I guess. It wasn't like an art style, but um, the car chase scene, for example, that was just beautiful. There was a specific look to it, I don't know what it was, it just looked really cool. A lot of the CGI as well was uh, pretty good, but I kind of didn't like the game CGI. I found it weird, it was really poorly animated and I know that they animated it like that that specific way for a reason it just didn't look good for a groundbreaking game for a triple-a game which is free city in case you haven't watched the movie pretty much there's this game called free city which is where this NPC lives who is actually an artificial intelligence and can come to, and comes to life and he does all this stuff that the players can do not what the NPC should do so the company that made the game are trying to bring him down and there's this one scene early on in the movie where um, two of the game debug? I don't know they uh, work for Tsunami which is the company that made the game they made characters and went into the game one was a cop and one was in a big pink bunny suit I just really hated them they were so annoying and very cringy why were they in the movie? I just hated them, it threw, it threw it off. A lot of people didn't like Guy, which was weird. I, I personally, I really liked Guy's character. Ryan Reynolds, once again, has done an amazing job with his comedy. Going into spoiler talk, if you don't want spoilers, then go to this time in the video. There is your warning, 3, 2, 1. I'm spoiling the movie now, it's your fault if you haven't watched it and it gets spoiled. Um, so yeah, the end of the movie. <laughs> uh, I didn't really like it. it I mean, everything leading up to it was great, even like the last 10 minutes, no, the last 10 minutes before the like ending, like the dude fight, uh, the fight with Guy and Dude was amazing, um, definitely one of my favourite parts of the movie because that was just jam packed with references, um, and Chris Evans cameo in there was amazing, if you know Guy is running across the bridge and his best friend was there, even that, even that point, it was sad. It was sad. I, I nearly cried when he died. But then, um, Guy got to his destination, if you know what it is. It's the island that was part of the original AI system. And, like, everyone's like, yeah, Guy! And, of course, of course he makes it. It's, they always do. It's really annoying sometimes. And then, um, Tsunami. Tsunami gets shut down, I think. And um, the original game developers with the AI system, they make their own game. And oh my god, dude. <laughs> the game is like exactly like Free City, but it's got all the supernatural elements and it's got greenery everywhere. And like, oh, okay, great, everything works out. And then, and then his friend comes back. His best friend that, he, that died, he came back. It was fine, he just came back like that. There was one scene in the movie which felt so stupid and very unrealistic. All the NPCs were rebooted, so Guy went back to his normal life. But, here's the stupid thing. Like, the main character, Millie, it's her name in the movie, goes up to Guy and she, she kisses him, and then he remembers everything that he's done. He remembers all he's leveling up, which, in a technical 
technical term is pretty much impossible with AI coding in an MPC. Um, like, yes, it is um, an artificial intelligence, but its memory was wiped and it, and it cannot be... It, it can't all come back to him by a kiss of a player. That was so stupid. Like, she kissed him and and Guy got all his memory back. No, that's not that's not how coding works. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. I can see why there was a lot of hate on it. Especially if you didn't have fun with it, then that would make it even more, like, it'd make it worse for your experience. With a two-hour runtime, you didn't enjoy it and you found all the spics and specs that just annoyed you. I found the spics and specs that annoyed me as well. But I had a good time with it. I did have fun just to let my turn my brain off um, because there's a lot of inaccurate moments in the movie, like all the coding. But um, yes, as I, as I already mentioned, I, I love the steel book. I have the slip case on it because I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. But um, I'll just there we go. There's the uh, medic bag, which I love. I love that part of the movie. And probably the best part of the whole movie is Goldie. I can't just keep putting this movie down. I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I, I don't know why, <laughs> but I did like it. Um, it was it was great. Uh, so with all of that, all that information that was just given to you, I think I'm going to rate this movie a solid six out of ten. In my opinion, it is closer to a seven than a five. So um, just keep that in mind. Alright, that's going to do it for this video, I hope this uh, editing isn't too choppy, I hope I do an alright job, guess guess we'll find out. <laughs> if you want to see more movie reviews, let me know, because you know, I'm probably going to enjoy editing this. Um, but besides that, if you enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like, subscribe, and until then, goodbye.